Hey everyone, how's it going? Guess what? Today I am on the bank of the Asiac River. It is out towards Haynes Junction and used to be called Canyon Creek. And in this area, there was a, a road, an old wagon road. And this wagon road was built from Whitehorse to Silver City and by a famous fella named Sam McGee. Some of you might have heard of him from the famous uh, Robert Service poem, The Cremation of Sam McGee. Um, well, he's a prominent figure in the Yukon. That poem became really famous. Some of you may have read it in school. I am here because I am on another cabin hunt excursion. So right here we have the river, beautiful Asiac River. You can see there's still some snow along the banks there. But what is really cool about this place? I found a cabin. <laughs> Look at that beauty, you guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So this is the coolest cabin of the three that I've seen so far, this being the third one. Let's go take a look at it. Whoops, branches. So a little bit of a history lesson. This place was built by Sam McGee and a buddy of his, Gilbert or somebody, not quite as famous as Sam, but he, uh, the two of them were road builders as well as prospectors. And they never made it up to the Klondike gold fields where the big gold rush was. So they ended up out here towards Kulani. And this is a part of the road that they built, and this is an old roadhouse. So those two built that and the bridge, which I'm going to show you um, eventually. The bridge is really cool too. They've kind of restored it and stuff. So, um, and they're working on restoring this building as well. Um, there's a sign saying don't go too close to it because it could be dangerous. You can see it's collapsing quite a bit in there. I'm not going to go inside, but I can, I can take a look inside. Look at those logs on the ground. Something about those sod roofs that I just love. So here's a trail where um, the road comes from and then it branches off. You can either go to the bridge down there or the cabin over there. Let's go check that out. Can you imagine just coming off a horse-drawn carriage, traveling for days on end in the 1900s and early 1900s in God knows what kind of weather conditions, probably freaking freezing. Freezing in your little wagon covered, bouncy cart <laughs> pulled by horses on a probably a really rough road. And then you come across this. Wouldn't that be awesome to see a nice little roadhouse? So the wagon road was, um, it was a road that was built from Whitehorse to Silver City. Um, Silver City is another place out near Kluani Lake, which I just love because there's old cabins and buildings there too. Um, I'm going to go check that out this summer once things get relaxed a little bit and we can actually venture outside of our own community. So not a bad view from here, although there was no windows inside. There's very few windows in here. There's just the one on the other side. Um, but yeah, nice and close to the river, awesome water source, very close by. Oh, the things you've seen. This building. There's one window. I don't know if it's just me, but I could just walk around this cabin for days. <laughs> I've been here like half an hour already, and I've already circled it like 10 times, but I'm gonna keep going, because I have not seen this one before. Even though I've been to this area many, many times, I have not, I did not know there was, this was here until recently. So yeah, you can just imagine the things this beautiful building is seen in its lifetime. If only walls could talk. I'm just going to take another lap around here. <laughs> take a good close look. Oh, it's very silty. Looks like this piece was maybe an addition that was broken off and stuffed in there because the uh, gap was too big. 
Hey, you gotta be creative when you have very little to work with. No home hardware to go and buy some chinking at. So yeah, just lessens the amount of chinking you have to put in there. Oh, there's another one up there. Yeah, this seems to be a problematic log right here. What's that? Oh, that looks like burlap. Whoa. Oh, it totally is. It's very stiff. Another chinking material. Oh yeah, look at that. It's in the, this corner too. Do they do that everywhere? Or just in the places that needed it? Huh. Chinky in there too. Asiac River Bridge, another beauty of a log structure. Not quite a cabin, but a bridge, which is also cool, if not cooler, because it um, guaranteed safe, well, didn't guarantee. <laughs> I'm sure some bridges were disastrous, but um, yeah, it may have helped a safe passage most of the time across uh, rivers like this that can be raging and you don't want to end up in at all. So this thing was built Again, I had mentioned earlier by Mr. Sam McGee and his buddy. It is has been restored and it can still be used today. You can see it's kind of got uh, the railroad tie thingies on there nailed in. And um, yeah, it's been restored, but it's still a beauty. It's still a thing of beauty. And could you just imagine, again, without any, you know, um, any machinery. These guys are like putting a freaking bridge in in 1903 it's just like man people worked hard back then anyways let's take a little let's take a little gander at this lovely log bridge if you like logs you are gonna love this and if you like logs and bridges you are going to hold on to your seat because this is gonna be exciting so I know very little about bridges but I'm gonna take you on a tour of it one big big old log on the edge Little logs in the middle, perpendicular logs, and then logs underneath too. You can see there's some going that way, some going that way. I don't wanna roll down into the river, but let's see. I hope you've enjoyed that little tour of the uh, Sam McGee history cabin and the bridge. Um, there's the highway. You can see RVs going by there. So I'm, um, this is Friday night. This is what I do on my Friday nights. I go cabin hunting. <laughs> I just realized that this would be a really cool, easy one to get to. I don't have to walk far because the parking lot is like literally right there. <laughs> Basically walk across the bridge and that's about it. So um, yeah. More cabin excursions to come. I have a couple lined up. Probably, um, yeah, I have a couple weeks in between them or so. Um, can't get to them. Next one's going to be a little bit more of a hike in. And um, then hopefully maybe in, uh, I think they're saying maybe by June, we can start exploring um, outside of our own communities in the Yukon. So I am going to get to any cabin I can as many cabins as I can all over the place. Uh, Dawson is definitely one area, Keno is another. Um, there's tons up there. Um, I mean, we may do a river trip this summer and down the Yukon River and there's cabins and history littered along that whole river. So, you know, a regular week long trip could end up taking a month because <laughs> I'd want to stop at every little spot along the way and document it. So maybe we should get funding for that and do that one summer. Anyways, um, 
just wanted to say thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed this and i uh, hope you have a good friday night even though you won't see this till sunday when i release it but um i hope you had a good friday night and a saturday and um part of your sunday as well so talk to you later